we think this car is a really exciting car to drive, so therefore the design needs to look exciting. It's really dynamic to drive, so the night design needs to look dynamic. So it really is this blend of excitement, dynamic lines that really gives this car a stance and overall proportion that really makes it look like a, a real fun car to drive. Let's start with the front. Yeah. It's got a big trapezoidal yeah. uh, grill. Tell me about why that. Well, this is actually coming from a lot of the other four products we're doing. The Fiesta has a, is a what we call the trapezoidal grill. Even the Taurus is a, a smaller scale version of that. And we really see that as one of our signatures from the front end. On this one, we're going to vertical straights to make it a little bit more aggressive. So the whole car, again, hopefully people recognize it from a distance, will recognize it's a Ford, and they'll recognize it's a Focus. You've got these sort of swept back headlights, yeah. as if somebody almost pulled the skin back. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the headlamps and the tail lamps are really so. We try to we accentuate the length of them from side view, which helps to visually shorten the, the overhangs, which again helps the stance of the visual stance of the vehicle. So, And then obviously the, the, the detailing inside the headlamps is something very important as well. What part of the car's design are you the most proud of? I think that it's really, when you look at the side view of the car, it's really that really nice, really nice fast profile to the car. The A pillars really rate, the, 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 the angle of the windshield really gives it this really dynamic and sort of aerodynamic feel to it. The distinctive tail lamps, very strong signature in the tail lamps. Yeah, the tail lamps seem like they're kind of the standout feature yeah. of the car. How did you come about those? How, how well, I think it, it was really, it was really something. Again, you said it. We want something to stand out. We want something that people will notice. We want people to recognize this as a car. At the same time, obviously, it's got the function there, but it's also this this proportional element which helps, you know link the corners of the car together and also shortens the overhangs visually. And how about the colors? These colors here seem very European. You know, America yep. usually have these kind of muted colors, and here you've got a very bright blue and a very yep. bright yellow. Well, it's something we've learned from our European colleagues, quite frankly, that, that you know, brighter colours, people are being a bit more optimistic, they're wanting brighter colours. In the uh, Fiesta, for example, which we launched earlier this year, the, the, the bright green is the, is the hottest selling colour in the state, in, in that car. So, so it's really... It's kind of lime green. Yeah, yeah, the lime green. So proving that you know, people are wanting brighter colours. Now, if I were to go to Europe and rent new Ford Focus, would yep. it be identical? It'd be identical to this. You wouldn't be able to. There's, there's some technical changes for legal reasons, but actually the cars are visually identical, and that's that's the way we want it to be in the future. The, the interior itself, like the uh, like the exterior, very very well sculpted, very dynamic in terms of its form language, and, uh, and, and again sort of accentuated and really marries very well with the exterior design. And there are a lot of soft touch materials. Yeah, too, I noticed. soft touch materials, soft door, soft yeah. IP. We've already shown a, 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 a design proposal for the ST in uh, the Detroit show, and it's really taking a lot of the design language but accentuating it. The mouth's even more aggressive, for example. The front end's even more aggressive. There's, there's rockers on the car and there's wings on the car, but at the same time, still recognizable as a focus. So the thing that really struck me for all of you guys out there who are, you know, are interested in this car, you can't tell in this dark color one, but the uh, insert in the trapezoidal grill is black. Yeah. And there was a black car behind me. Yeah. And the whole front end was black. It yeah. was very menacing. Yeah, know? I think that's 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 why we sort of the different colors give you different aspects of the car. And if you turn around behind you, you see the SEC port wheel, which is a black wheel also. So that so you get a black car, black grill, black wheel. It looks pretty. It looks pretty aggressive. Yeah, yeah. You can see almost uh, almost like a boyhood racer feel. Yeah. There, and also, point. actually, the titanium you notice. Uh, the headlamps go, the, the, the surrounds of the headlamps go black as well, so it's another signature for the titanium. Yeah.